Some people love to give presentations and enjoy the challenge of being called upon at the very last moment to get to their feet and say something really intelligent, or at least pretend to. The chances are that you've chosen this session because this is not the case for you. But by the end of this session, you're going to have at your disposal a routine that you can practice, which will enable you to do a short presentation of, let's say, a couple of minutes with just a few seconds or a minute or two's notice. And I'm going to take you through some simple steps which enable you to do this whenever you need to. But first, you're going to need to get some materials together. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to pause this video and to find a newspaper or magazine article that interests you. It should be of at least one magazine page length or a good chunky article from a newspaper. You're also going to need a highlighting pen. So pause the video now and get those things together for yourself and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Great. Now, I'm assuming that you now have in front of you a magazine or newspaper article ready for the next step. Oh, and of course, a highlighter or some other kind of pen to scribble with. The trick to being able to speak in front of others at short notice is to feel comfortable that you've got two or three simple points to make. Now, we're going to assume that for the purposes of this exercise, that the thing you would normally be asked to talk about is within your sphere of knowledge. But for the purposes of illustration and of today, in a moment or two, I'm going to ask you to pause this video and to spend literally two minutes quickly running your eyes over the article that you've chosen with your highlighter and mark three, just three really important points in that article. The ones that you think really say something to the reader, or in this case, to your listeners. Pause the video now. Great, welcome back. Now you should now have an article in front of you that has just three points highlighted. Now, what you're going to do now, when I ask you to pause the video again in a moment, is to write one sentence that introduces the topic and then another one that summarizes all three points that you've highlighted. Literally one sentence in each case. Pause the video now and do that. So now you're all set. Essentially, you have your script. If you were in a meeting and you were asked to say something with very little warning, you would be well within your rights to ask the person who is running the meeting for a couple of minutes to collect your thoughts, or even just a few moments. You may not need these, but remember that you're perfectly entitled to ask for the time. And after all, they are asking you for your expertise, so the expert gets to choose how to do it. Now, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to pause the video again and to record yourself, perhaps on another device, as you give your mini presentation. Now, I would suggest that you don't fall foul of the temptation to read from the article, but that you just trust yourself to remember the salient points that join up the three bits that you've actually highlighted. So stop the video now and have a go at doing this and I'll see you again in a few minutes. The routine that you've just taken yourself through is really all you need to be able to talk intelligently in front of an audience at very short notice. Practice is, of course, important, but even more important is the thought that a speaker, even an informal one, will always be popular if they know how to put complex ideas into just a few words. And you really don't have to worry about all that detail that you carry around in your head or half carry around in your head. People who know what they're talking about almost always overestimate the appetite 
or the capacity for detail in the audience's minds. Be brief, be proud, and enjoy your moment.